Okay. Hey guys, it is a raw wrap up. We are back after that uh, bit of a hiatus for the holidays, but we are back with you here on Blab, and they changed things, which is why I'm not on the fancy studio mic. But everybody else has better equipment than I than I I do right now. With all your new fancy cameras and everything, if you're joining us on video on the YouTube or the I Facebook know, I, posting, I, 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 that it was a gift from Sorg. So yeah. it's a gift from Sorgatron Media Incorporated. So uh, so to get you guys on par, get you guys looking good for the new year, and we're ready with a new Monday Night Raw. Mm-hmm. And it felt very new to me. I, I don't know about you guys. Um, it, it felt not well. It felt new, and it felt old as an attitude era a little bit as well there's a lot of going on a lot of shenanigans of course really kind of um around the idea of roman reigns and all these issues here um and and and, and what i'm sure we'll talk about this and so much more wrestling mayhem show.com uh, of course the big show we're having tuesday back at you live at wrestling mayhem show.com about tuesday night 9 p.m eastern time uh, but what what did you guys think i mean the, the big story going in this was the roman reigns uh situation it really felt like the you know the good old days of the attitude area and the stack deck against your stone cold steve austin's and everything um i don't know what, what did you feel as two guys that i know were definitely watching back then as well Riz, um, it, it did oh. seem like a attitude era ish main event, but it didn't feel In slow motion. Right. It, it, In slow motion. In slow motion. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, again, again, Vincent Kennedy McMahon is a seventy-year-old man. Yeah. Yeah. He, coming back from a commercial break, too. His pecs jiggling. Yeah, yeah that was too. Uh, much. It, I, I, I dropped a tweet out. Like, sometimes I like to step back and wonder what it's like uh, to be not a wrestling fan and you're, and you're witnessing these things. Maybe you're switching over from, I don't know, Gotham or whatever is a rerun tonight, right? And that's what you see. Mm-hmm. And they wonder what about those ratings. What, what if you were watching Monday Night Football and there was a commercial on? You just happened to switch. And, and I, know, I know they were off today because of the week 17 and all that stuff, but. What if you just turned on Raw and just saw McMahon pecs right in your face? Mm-hmm. Just jiggling pecs. Well, my friend my friend Morgan just tweeted the same thing I was thinking right when the end of the, the main event happened. It's like, why do I watch this? And then they turned it around on us at the very end, and I'm like... It's not right for Roman. <laughs> That's why I watch this. It's not right for room. Stuff like that that just happened with the Royal Rumble announcement. Mm-hmm. And that's the big thing, the big announcement tonight. He will be defending the title at the Royal Rumble. The stakes are high as they've ever been. And especially with, we had a lot of other setup uh, with our factions of the Wyatts. I, I got to say the uh, new age job, job squad uh, that we witnessed is probably going to be a factor of some sort in the Royal Rumble as a group. According uh, to I like Cole, this idea. It's never been put on the line before. <laughs> no, the, and the I, I think, you know, going back to what Michael Cole said, he said the WWE title. Oh, yeah, okay. Never been. It's WWE. Well, he, I thought he said I it. Mean, I thought he mentioned it was done once before, um, referring know. to that 92 yeah. one with Ric Flair. Now, the difference is it's being put on the line as in it's being defended. Yeah, no, before yeah it was that is game. true. That is true. Well, I vacant had so I, yeah, I, well, yeah, vacant, but vacant didn't get a chance to defend it. That's true. As, as said, uh, 1992 Royal Rumble. So that, that's 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 a factor, too. Um, I hope just Rick Flair comes back and wins it all. Well, since he's he's everywhere in our faces. So somebody said Charlotte was going to win it. <laughs> might as well. Might as well. Right. Uh, but anyways, uh, so there's that. This is the main event. Of course, uh, Roman Reigns. I, I think it was interesting. They had a lot going on. Shenanigans abound. That's what you expected from that thing. Um, just I, I, I don't know. To me, it's it's kind of weird. Um I try not to get mired in the details, but that you're this faction and you have this title match and but you don't let the other guys get involved, yet we've had three referees come out and step in the fan. I mean that just kind of like what well, well, but you have friends. Why aren't your friends being used? You know? Uh, it's like we forget them or or just like 
like I, I don't know if there's a writing term for this, but just like you just put them in this cage and they're just conveniently unavailable. Like, can I get a YouTube video of what Rusev and the rest of the team were doing while they were obviously needed in this match uh, to overcome Roman Reigns while he's punching out seventy year old men? <laughs> Something like, are they like you know? Like, are they detained? Is there are are they are they being towed or something like that? You know, what kind of what kind of thing could be happening? If you have any ideas, what could be happening? Um, then, well, then please think, let us know I at the AM show on the Twitter. If I, I think because if you have all these new factions coming in and doing the same thing that you want the League of Nations to be doing. Mm-hmm. For instance, you had. Um, Whatever they're the social justice outcasts, social outcasts, social yeah. Keith outcast. Slater. If you guys have, in case you guys are watching this to recap, because you haven't watched the show, so we've got to keep in mind, guys. Some people, may, no, not spoilers. Like maybe it's easier to catch fifteen minutes of this show than three hours of Raw, because some people have lives but still kind of want wrestling. Mm-hmm. Um, Keith Slater, Curtis Axel, Adam Rose, and whatever rendition he is right now, and Bo Dallas come out. And and the most nonsensical group thing. It's like a Legion of Doom promo gone horribly, horribly wrong. And uh, and they were the social podcast. Most sense of all. Yeah, it's just like you guys do a thing over here. Maybe it'll work. And that's where like a lot of times the best tag teams kind of come from. New day, type bros. New day. Well, new bros, day, exactly. Day. So uh, why not? Let's do something. Head cheese. Head cheese, exactly. So there's that. We have social outcasts, I guess. We have this faction. We have the Wyatts, I think, doing a very good job of the Wyatts becoming a threat over the last uh, few weeks. This hey, is why. I'm, 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 I'm throwing my chips in. I, I, Bray Wyatt is probably one of my picks to win the Rumble. It's possible. I, I love... I, Four horsemen thing. Unless maybe. Brock Lesnar comes back, and that's a that's a high possibility. Well, Brock Lesnar's coming back next week. Don't you think that could maybe set up for yeah. a Royal Rumble push? I can see that. I can see. Rock. I can see him being at least number two. I don't think the Rock is there for Rumble. Rock is just going to show for Mania. Didn't you say his statue is at the end there? It, it looked like it looked like the Rock, but it, I don't think it was. Okay. Just we need a step-by-step uh, Force Awakens style analysis of the Royal Rumble promo, identifying everybody in the statues. Well, you you um, already you already outed me as a uh, spray tan enthusiast. Uh, yeah, that's true. Thank you for reminding me of a new segment on the show. Riz's spray tan uh, uh, report of the night. Tell me who had the bad spray tan. How could he have uh, perfected that a little bit, Riz? Well, Dolph Ziggler had like. I, I, let me see if I can move my camera here without make, make, making it move. The other uh, way, it's mirrored. What? Oh, oh, okay. So we got your we got your arm. Yeah. See my arm? Yeah, I see your arm. On the top of the arm. That's where the that's where the tan goes. That's where the, no the tan should go all the way around so it looks natural. I don't know. Right, like. right. Looks like you evenly did it. You know. But it looked like the tan, like the spray tan. Keep this in mind. On top of the arm. Keep this in mind. He did wrestle Heath Slater, who also wears spray tan. So they might have been practicing backstage and might have rubbed off on him a little bit. Well, that sounded dirty. That's, that's that sounded it. really bad. That was alluding to some weird stuff that might be happening bad backstage. But uh, okay. Hey, hey, Dolph Ziggler was on Tinder, which WWE mentioned it as Twitter before the thing. He was swiping left and right. Vigorous. Standards and practices, man. Standards and practices. <laughs> Swiping. All right. Chris Jericho used the term strap queen tonight. Chris Jericho was back. Yeah. yeah. What, what, did, what did he say? Trap queen. He called the trap New Day queen. trap queens. Drag queens? or Trap, uh, queen. trap queens. Crap queens. Trap. Trap. Trap queens. Back part. All right. Whack. Bobby. This is the part where Bobby educates me on what a trap queen is. Um, Do you really want to know? I, I, I think we should educate. It was it was just exposed the um, entire pro wrestling audience. Yeah, Riz, don't <laughs> Google it. it. Sorry, don't dumb. Google it. No, oh, I'm gonna Google on. Oh, I had to look it up on Urban Dictionary tonight. Trap Queen. Wow, that autocorrects. Uh, something about Fetty Wap 
Yeah, Fetty, Fetty Trap Wap. Queen official video, <laughs> Urban Dictionary. Fetty she Wap. is loyal to her friends, wives, or her family and gives no fucks Fetty to bitter, Wap. petty yeah. bitches. Uh, read she down. also enjoys... She also enjoys listening to trap music. Now, what's trap music? Yeah, Hold on, we're going to go back here. Down to the other def definition. Trap, trap music. Queen. I don't know. Trap music is a music genre originated in the early 1990s in the southern United States. There are other definitions of trap queen on that website too. Yes. Mm. Please, please I, I was just reading what came up on Google. Not so friendly as that do not, one. Do not read them out loud. Let's see. Let's, let's see. Move trap on to queen some wrestling, too. Sword. Yeah, let's from Bay Brit. Let's move on to some wrestling. My cat mm. meowing. What the hell's going on? Mm. Chris Jericho's back, you guys. Jericho. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm okay yeah. with that. I mean, I, I think, you know, no, you're not going to get the glorious uh, Chris Jericho of yesteryear, but um, I, I thought it was a nice... Chris Jericho, top of the head, ponytail? Is that what you're saying, Sorg? You know what? I think in the last several years, as a big Jericho holic, I can definitely admit that Jericho has made some questionable style choices and arm tattoo that choices. Email. I will. I. I. I dig the man. I dig the abilities. I do not deal, dig the fashion choices. Um. Uh, in the last. Um. Every. Basically, everything post suit. No. 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 Everything post sparkly jacket. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Somebody's periscoping. Anyways, uh, so I thought that was fun. Uh, ladies, okay. I, I, the discussion has been like forever about the uh, uh, ladies, the divas, uh, that there's been no heels, faces. Who are we supposed to cheer for? I think you got it tonight. And Almost all of them are heels, though. <laughs> like, all the ladies are. It just, everybody's. And, and I don't mean this to demeaning to women, but demeaning to the way they're presented yeah. on, on WWE, unfortunately. Just everybody's a catty bitch. You, and that's what we do now, I, except for Becky. Becky, yeah, I think yeah. Becky. I was just about uh, to say, you talk about Roman one versus all. It's basically Becky versus all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, poor. It's a it's a poor Becky situation at this point, and I think it's unfortunate. Okay, so hopefully that that helps, but apparently the reaction has not been too too great to these kinds of things. But I I, I think the wrestling has been picked up. I, I'm glad to see them going, but I'm afraid that. It's going to turn into a Kofi Kingston versus Zolf Diggler, Ziggler with the um, Intercontinental Title situation, uh, where we have just these guys wrestling so much we well, don't care what anymore. What do you have? I mean, like to be honest with you, it's Becky, Sasha, Charlotte, Naomi. And I think Bella. Sasha. I think like Sasha is also being kept in that room that Rusev and uh, and Del Rio were, um, just around the entire Divas division of like she's just busy in the back while we're just having a division, um, because everybody obviously wants her yet yeah, we're not getting her. I I, I don't Why understand. Do I don't understand what's way. happening. I don't. I don't understand. I, somebody's putting Sasha in the corner, and I don't like yeah. it. Okay. Well, because there's no uh, in in WWE. There's not really. A want for multiple diva feuds, right? And I think that's and, prominent. And I think that weakens the, that weakens the division. I think that weakens the tag division too. There should be something happening over here that has nothing to do with the belt. While this is happening over here for a belt, there mm -hmm. should be something happening with the ladies over here. Nothing to do with the belt. While something's happening over here, You're sort again at team banter doing a thing. Mm -hmm. But I, I I don't know. Like I, how how again? I, I said this during during the night. How can we? not put our all in a 15 minute segment twice twice a week you know what i mean uh, not not from the girls the girls are just doing great stuff with what they have but it's just that that underlying thing just feels so tired but we're not going to get and, if we have those two different matches we don't really have that talent as we see in NXT where we can substitute like uh, Alexa Bliss or or Bailey or Asuka or Nikki Jax, Nia Jax. Right. right. It, it, in in WWE, you have your Alicia Fo your Alicia Foxes and your uh, Camerons and your well, I can't I can't really co like couple uh, Alicia with. Cameron, because actually, Alicia is actually really damn good. Um, oh, she is. Absolutely. Alicia Fox but, doesn't get it enough. But you still have those 
run of the mill, not really wanting to wrestle divas in in the business that you can't yeah. really plug them in to a match because yeah, really yeah i know i know but there's still plenty of girls there that we can fill two segments in and yeah. have something interesting okay you just have something interesting okay. i think but also the fans need to be invested in in something like that and they can't really be you know, going. There's nothing for them to sink. There's nothing for them to sink their teeth into, like there is for NXT. I feel there's nothing compelling, and I think that it's just like yeah, girls wrestling. Like I think, I, unfortunately, I think this is a top down issue with them. But anyways, um, I, I just you know, I'm happy to see it. We're not. We're back to having one segment a night. I wish we had more. Oh well, at least Tyus O'Neill's getting some work. Guys, anything else before we get out of here? We're going much too long. We have got plenty more to record tonight. Where was John Cena? What? Yeah, where was John Cena? Cena? He wasn't even on. Oh, he's gonna be on SmackDown. He only gets oh, one show a week. Maybe, yeah. maybe that's his contract right now. Maybe he's yeah. maybe he's sliding into a part timer of sorts. I can only do you know, one show a week for our SmackDown. Oh, SmackDown. Well, I gotta have I gotta have my Monday night then, so I can keep uh, studying up on my Mandarin Chinese. <laughs> Rosetta Stone. Ros- Rosetta Stone Johnson. <laughs> John Cena stone. Hey, John Cena revolutionized the uh, the weight loss industry, and uh, both my wife and I lost pounds to that. So maybe uh, by the end of the year, we'll also know Mandarin. Oh. Uh, guys, it's been the Raw Wrap Up Wrestling Mayhem Show. Dot com. Thank you to. I got one more thing. I just want to mention quickly. Riz was talking about the Wyatt family earlier, and I love that they're calling themselves. Well, they're not really calling themselves, but they mentioned the 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 four horsemen of the apocalypse. Uh, Bray Wyatt is death, uh, pestilence, famine, and uh, and the and the others. Yeah, and they're doing the four the four down here, down four, which is awesome. I love it. I, that's all I want to say. Sorry, sorry. There's a really good interview. Um, I, I can't tell where it's from. It was from about a year in from his WWE tenure, mm-hmm. uh, being out of NXT. Uh, it's over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group. Uh, but uh, he talks about where he gets his ideas and everything for his promos and how, how he basically just goes out there with an idea and, and, and wings it. Um, but a lot of the idealisms that he goes into are actually things that he believes about society, hmm. which is also kind of scary. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> guys, Bobby F. J. Town on the Twitters at the E. Riz and Riz Plays Games on the Twitters. Both these guys also represent the great insert coin to begin dot com. Shout outs. Shouts to our friends Hot Wheels RWA out there in the chat room that's been uh, watching here all night. And at RWA Pro is the promotion that he works for here in Western PA. Uh, please check out everything. We're going to be back in style. WrestlingMayhemShow.com live Tuesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern is the main show with the Indie Mayhem Show shortly following that at 11 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you so much. Subscribe to this and so many other shows over on the website. Uh, hit us with your thoughts. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or uh, at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. We'll see you next time.